guys! Ah, oh, that long jump thing is nice! <laughs> I hope people are enjoying this because our LPs generally get ignored! Which is a shame because I'm trying- We've almost hit 100. I know some of our commentary isn't the best, but Christ, people, I'm trying. And I think some of- Sometimes I think- Fork? Snow Kingdom? Or... Seaside? Ice? You know what? Nipples. Do you, do you want Frostbite or- it, Do you want Shrink Hedge or um, it to feel itchy down there? Insert uh, obligatory I hate sand. It's dry, coarse, and rough. Anyway. That's a line from the Star Wars prequels. Mm -hmm. I hope people are enjoying the... Like, for the most part, my LPs get ignored, which is really damning because I spend hours of sleepless nights editing. Don't guilt trip them. That will make them hate it more. I can kill a trip who I want. No! Seaside Kingdom. I, I am like, I want to know literally how much in this thing is shaped like a top hat because I am imagining like the TV. It would be a top hat. The TV remote. Top hat. Chair. Top hat. Toilet. Top hat. Exactly. The glass is half empty. Oh, we're fighting a Splatoon boss, I see. Hmm. Snails! So I guess these are supposed to be the stand-in for... What were those shell people called in Sunshine? You mean the Noki? Yeah. One of my favorite capture targets. That is so cool. You don't have infinite water though, and I don't know how you refill it. I would assume just touching water. Yes, again. it does. So as long as you sit on top of the water, you basically have infinite of this. That is so cool. It's basically flood, but it's not terrible. So, if you do the jetting forward on the water, you're basically doing the one nozzle from... Yes! Uh, yeah, this is basically the one nozzle from Sunshine. It is Sunshine! You have, um... You have this one move, you, um, try spinning the control stick and pressing one of the buttons. Yeah, that. Wait, how did you do that? Shake the controller. Or that. Hot Spring Island? Hmm. Oh, water. Hey, uh, yeah. You know, I just thought about what if Nintendo had decided to get like super funny for no reason and had a costume that was based on what's that one um bootleg that's the meme the like what grandfather? No, seven granddad. That. What if they had had a costume that was jerk? Funny? 
Uh, Mario's totally the bad guy. He was just sitting there drinking the water and Mario had to go attack him. You're totally a psychopathic killer. I'm sorry. Ecky theory! I'm sorry, I just, I hate that theory with a burning passion. Ha! Ah. What? Burning. I don't get it. Lava! Oh. The thing's on... Jeez, Carson. Okay. I hate that theory was a passion that burns hotter than a thousand white suns. And that's hot. So, that's why, because this area has some things from the sunshine, this is a good time to bring up the, uh... Anyway. This is a good time to bring up the missed opportunity of this game and the thing that actually does piss me off that it's not in this, uh, game, and that's the, um, Hawaiian shirt from Sunshine. That should have been a costume, but it isn't! Also, why is there just a moon sitting out here? You get the moon, it opens these, and you shoot corks at the, um, fiery Frenchman over there. Uh. I was trying to think of a clever the French are scared joke, but I, I can't think now of it. Now what was that cork? <laughs> Just two fountains to go. They basically made a boss fight in area. And then you have an actual boss fight against him. So, let's see. Okay. There's one of... What happens if you bring one of those, um, water enemies into, like, the... There's that giant geyser of water, which is where the quartz came from, or would that on. just fire you at, like, the boss? There's that, and then I don't see any... Oh! There's that one. Uh. Okay! It's like... I was kind of joking with the sunshine thing, but that does lead to somewhat of a serious a point, which is I feel the... In this game, it panders a little bit too much to 64 nostalgia and doesn't really give a... A little bit, yes. ...enough to Sunshine. Now, granted, there's not really a lot you could do with Sunshine, because Sunshine is weird like that, but you could have... Like I said, you could have had the one, um, a costume from it, and you easily could have had, for no apparent reason, the Noki or, like, the, the Piantas or whatever, or, um you know, in a kingdom in this game, for no apparent reason. Or you could have had Star... You're probably going to need one of those, um... Oh, let's see what the... You're going to need something that can breathe under... Only a fizz can make it. Yes, you're going to need something that can breathe underwater, so you're going to probably have to go grab one of those water guys. Th those water guys can't dive, Carson. So then, I guess grab one of these cheap cheap. Which are conveniently in single file. Except now I've got to dive rock to death. Oh, actually. Booyah! Okay. Dive! 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 Steel Diver. Oh, and they, they... They take it away anyway, so... They give you a cheap cheap right here. Oh yeah, if you shake the, um, do the shaking the controller okay. hat throwing, you will walk on to the nearest capture target. You will walk on to enemies too, so... I said the nearest capture target. For now. Oh yeah, the scariest Fakunagi! Jesus! Why is he back? To scare the bejesus out of a new generation? Except Unagi wasn't that scary to begin with. Yeah, I said it, Aaron. 
It's just like the piano. It's not that scary. You saw that when you were older. Most people played that game at the young age of like five and it scared the bejesus out of them. One, I wasn't that much older. Two, we also have the piano and Unagi. I'm not saying that they're not scary. They're just not as scary as people make them out to be. <laughs> Honestly, with how badly the graphics have aged, you can make the argument they're more terrifying now. <laughs> okay. I know I'm not talking, though. I'm trying to focus. Focusing. 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 Nice place you got here. I really do hope people enjoy our videos, but, like, no one seems to give a shit, and that always bothers me. You see, we just gotta, uh, um, uh, piss the masses off. Super Mario 64 is overrated and the DS version is better. See? There, I just gave you a good clickbaity title. Uh, uh, ten reasons Mario 64 isn't as, uh, good as you think it is, and number four will shock you. <laughs> I... Kind of, like... In a serious, non-clickbaity point, I can use this game as kind of an opportunity to talk about Mario. Um, I really do feel the DS version. You see, that's what makes it not click. Uh, they is that the um the fact that we actually feel the DS version is better. It is, and anyone who says it isn't is just kind of... You're wrong. People just don't like the controls, even though they're better. Yeah, you actually um, uh, have a gradual turning it in the um, DS version. Okay, so that thing's up there. You're going to have to... Walk like around the cliffside, or I don't see any way to get up there. Well, not from over here. Or are you gonna leave that thing out to die? Oh, gotta go the long way. Oh, yeah, I... Oh, and we could get a Goomba st That's Yeah, be... apparently there are a few mission types that repeat between worlds. That's gonna be irritating. One of them is the Goomba thing. It's going to be like that one terrible mission from Galaxy where you have to leave the Goomba to the one robot. Remember that? Oh, shut up, Horizon. <laughs> eh, 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 my job is done. Okay. <laughs> I think this will be the last uh, one, and then you're going to have to go fight the Frenchman. 64 DS is the superior game. To talk about, like, my experience with Mario games, because this would be kind of a good opportunity, other than just blind reactions to things, to just kind of ramble points, maybe crack some terrible jokes... As a kid, I had... Oh no, we made the French angry. What's he gonna do? <laughs> Swing a baguette at us? <laughs> and you were giving <laughs> me shit for my racist Mexican job. <laughs> Mine... <laughs> Mine's the funny type of racist. You were just being offensive. Uh, I'm just going to stop. Uh. Oh, we oui, win. Oui. So, yeah, had to actually talk about the Mario 64 thing. Hold on, let's figure out what the... You have to get over him and while shoot his head, but I don't know how easy it is to get over him. Oh, there we go. There we go! It's 
Okay, so it seems to be better to just, uh, just dash up and just go. Yeah, dash up and then try to hit him. Jesus Christ. Yep. Oh crap. Now, do we have to hit his folding head? I don't know what happens if you hit his head, but Water. Okay, but I, I do feel the. Okay, now we're back to shit. I don't understand. The DS version of the. Yeah, oh, actually, you don't have unlimited water if you're dashing around on water. Yeah. That's just stupid then. Yeah. Okay, so now this ball. What? The hell do I do now? He seems to have stopped. Oh, he's firing drills now. That still hurts him. I yep, guess. okay. Ah. God. Yep. Okay, so it's just a really cool... The reason I feel the DS version is better, and it actually does control better, it's just people think the game doesn't control better because it's just... It actually uh, it has... Um, the original, I believe, 64 only had like eight way directional movement. The... The DS version actually has gradual turning. The DS version is retooled to fit a... Oh, that's stupid. It is. The DS version is retooled to fit a control pad, and they did redesign the game to deal with the control pad. Okay, so it's just... Uh, and the game does actually... He's gotta either time it right or after he does enough of something he stops. I cannot wait to see people speed run this game. Mm -hmm. No, you just hurt him. Uh, you just hit his bulbous head. Uh, talk about a headache. Mm hmm The DS version of Super Mario 64 is a better game. Okay, why are those all going in there now? That's bullshit. The controls were retooled to basically be positive. And the control pad thing, everyone, oh, it's a 3D game. You don't have as much movement as you do with the N64. I'm sorry, the N64 control stick, well, it's a good first attempt at a control stick. That thing is jank as fuck. No, that's not a control stick. That is a, um, a push pin with a cylinder on the top. Pretty. Hmm. Okay, guys. So my question of the day is do any of you guys prefer Super Mario 64 DS like me and Carson do or do you prefer the original if you prefer the original I would love to hear why and if you prefer the DS version I would also love to hear why I think this is a very interesting discussion topic so I would love to hear from both sides you can leave your thoughts opinions and answers in the comments below or you can leave them on social media. All my social media links are in the video description. Now as always, I need to be a shell for a minute. If you liked my video, please hit the like button and leave some comments. If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscription button and subscribe. If you are already subscribed, please ring the bell next to the subscription button. That gives you the proper notifications of whenever I upload a new video. 
Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. Doing all of these things really helps out the channel, and it really helps our communities grow. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.